the Virginia men's basketball team traveled to Charlotte for its first game of the season away from JPJ. Three Cavaliers called the Charlotte area home, Tevin Jones, Anthony Gill, and Akeel Mitchell. Here in our opening frame in Charlotte, Brogdon attacks inside, scoops the shot off the window and good use of the left hand. Brogdon attacking easy, scoops to the hoop again, this time using the right hand as he floats it high off the window and good. Virginia with its first lead, it's four to three. He'll pass it out, a pump fake, and now a pull-up jumper just behind the free throw line, and a nice shot for Kalinowski, who's on the board, his team goes ahead again. Now looking to hand it off, he'll give it to Kalinowski. Kalinowski feeds Brooks wide open. Three-pointer is up and good from the near wing left. It's a good team. Their record right now doesn't serve them, but um, you know they, they run their action hard. They're continuous. They're, they hit big shots like they did today. And, um, you know They're a tough team to play, and uh, they'll be good down the stretch. Trying to retake the lead. Virginia on a 4 on one Here's a turnover. Toby comes away with a steal as a double team from Atkins and Toby. Flustered McAuliffe, and the Cavaliers will have it moving quickly. Brogdon passes out, top of the arc. Here's a shot and a long one from Toby as he connects from straight away. Tony Bennett and his staff really liked what he could bring, but ultimately in his transfer, he ended up coming here. Here's a pull-up jumper from Atkins. That misses from right of the lane, but a rebound again to Toby, and Toby will softly lay it right back up and in. I think we're an inside-out team for the most part when you look at our, our pieces. I thought when we rotated the ball and we spread the floor, we had some advantages and even some offensive rebounding. We got tipped. Backs. Good to see Mike certainly, you know, look at a stat line. That was impressive. Justin dribbles the first rather and Harris will dribble, beats it off to Gill, and Gill sends it off the window and good with a foul. The far wing right. Now they send it back up to the arc. Kalinowski pump fakes from three, beats the near wing. On the baseline rather. The pull-up jumper is up and good as Jaropovic connects. Nice play on the other end for Kalinowski. He beats out Drone. He couldn't hit the three-pointer, but again Kalinowski gets the ball in the low block. He'll pass it out again. A third opportunity. Now Kalinowski will take matters into his own hands, and he splashes it through. They got a few offensive rebounds. We didn't get on the floor for a ball. Talked about setting the tone, and I didn't like what I saw, and I just, if that's how it's going to be, it's going to be a long a long afternoon, and I just, you know, challenged him, said, that's enough, that's enough, you know, and let me see you scrap. Over to Brogdon on the far wing, six to shoot, Malcolm goes up and under, lays it up the window and good. Brogdon shot 10 points, and boy, Brogdon and Mitchell have been assertive here in the second half, Virginia leads by seven now. Anderson gives to Brogdon, Brogdon a little crossover, now backs it out to Perante, he's a pump fake, and now to Brogdon, launches it up, and he connects for three point range. Malcolm Brogdon, Brogdon with five second half points now. Right now, still leading as it's going to be Brogdon attacking inside. He misses, but the putback is there. Is It was Akil Mitchell tipping it right back up and in. Mitchell's got seven points all here in the second half. Struggling on the defensive boards, and that trend continues. There's a three-pointer as Kalinowski drills it from the left wing. So don't go anywhere just yet. It's a good team. It's in their city. Their team, when they start hitting threes, are very dangerous. And when they started doing that in the first half, going 7 to 17, and they were getting some of those open looks, I knew they'd make us work. And I just knew that we would have to be ready. That is college basketball. I say this all the time. You, if you don't give everything you got, especially when you go away from home, just because we're from the ACC and they're not, if you're not ready, you're going to find yourself in trouble. And we're not a team who can be anything but at our best. Parantes now on the near wing left. He'll give to Anderson. He fires up a three-pointer all by himself, and that will silence the crowd. Justin Anderson, second three-pointer of the game, and this one is in the books. 70-57, to 57. Virginia goes on the road for the first time this year and comes away with a 13-point win over the Wildcats of Davidson University. The Cavaliers returned home for a midweek matchup with the Naval Academy. Following his strong performance against Davidson, sophomore Mike Toby was inserted into the starting lineup. Here's a long jumper. This is Mike Toby splashing it through after a nice setup from Joe Harris. Well, uh, definitely since last year, I mean, I feel like putting on a lot of muscle and a lot of weight has helped me out tremendously on defense and offense. I mean, just the ability of having that extra strength and a little extra weight to throw around is a uh, benefits me a lot and uh, definitely this summer 
playing on the USA team was uh, was very very beneficial to me. I mean, I realized just how hard you have to compete. These last couple games have gone real well. I mean, just just the VCU game. I just really fo try to focus on defense, just what I can do out there to help my team. You know that four man front court that I've been playing is it's it's one of our strengths. Mike had a very nice game against Davidson. I mean, start to finish, and I thought he earn that spot, again, whether you start or not, and I like to match up. I think Akil's really defending well and doing some good things, so I think that's a good combination. I think he shows his, his ability to draw attention, and they weren't double teaming him, so when they don't do that, he's got a pretty nice opportunity. He's gonna score most of those times. He gives to Harris on the left side as well. Now to Toby. Toby trying to bang around. Floats it up on the left hand and a nice soft jump hook. Cavaliers reset things with 12 to shoot. Harris attacks inside. Uses the left hand and floats it off the window and good. Here's Harris on the left hand dribble. Drives baseline trying to feed it to Mitchell. Mitchell with a soft touch inside. Lays it in up close. The Cavaliers limited the midshipmen to 17 first half points en route to a 15 point halftime advantage. All second half against Binghamton, last time out. Here's a three-pointer. Malcolm Brogdon from the far wing right answers immediately with his first long one of the night. Cycles it near side left to Nolte. Dribbles between his legs now. Feeds the wide open Anthony Gill for the one-hand flush inside. The ball saved in bounds. Alade saved him and coming back to reject the shot. Swats it away. Drive it inside as Hemphill could not make good. Here's Gill on the other side. He lays it in with a foul. He's on the far wing right. He dribbles with the left hand. Now sends to Harris. Harris on the near wing. Up base from three. Now steps inside the arc and knocks one down from 15 feet out just inside of that baseline on the left side. Tevin Jones new in. Dumps it down low down to Toby. Jump hook on the right side of the lane and he will float that one high and good. This offseason I try to implement it into my game. I mean it's a it's a pretty good move. It worked for Kareem, so might as well try and put that move into my repertoire. To the floor now. 49 seconds to go. Virginia leading comfortably here. Here's a turnaround. Kate Kirby. And that's the loudest cheer we've heard tonight as he hits from about five feet away in the lane. With the win, the Cavaliers are three and one on the young season. UVA now prepares for another in-state opponent. Liberty comes to JPJ on Saturday afternoon.